Hey everyone, welcome back to the Best Coin News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. In today's numismatic news and information for the 20th day of December 2023, I'd like to welcome you over to MoneyMetals.com so we can check out those live spot prices and the availability of the 23 American Silver Eagles as well as their premiums. But before all that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. That way we can open up the official Son of a Silver Stacker store selling the official Son of a Silver Stacker merchandise. Now, without further ado, let's get busy with it. Money Metal says that gold is down five dollars seventy cents to twenty forty five seventy five. Silver down seven cents to twenty four seventeen. Platinum down two twenty to nine sixty eight forty. And look at that palladium down twenty two ninety five at twelve forty one sixty. You're looking at an in stock American Silver Eagles premium is seven ninety nine, and they're going to sell those to you for thirty two dollars sixteen cents. As and look at the price here, they're going to buy them back for twenty five eighty three. Now over here to the bullion sales. At the United States Mint, they're updated every weekday by 5 p.m. If they have a tale to tell, which there is none yet for the last, what, week or so, week and a half of December so far. We'll see how that goes, but uh, I don't expect too much, but you never, ever know. Now, over here, did a poll yesterday on the Son of a Silver Stacker community tab. Man, I'll just go ahead and scroll down to that. It says right here. Uh, let me see if I can get that situated a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Hi, how are you? Now, it says here, this is the question in the poll, and you can still vote. There's 144 votes here. It's 14 hours ago. And I will do a follow-up about the best product, not the best program here uh, later on today. And probably even during the live stream this morning. Because I'm going to get back to doing the live streams uh, every single morning, Monday through Friday. And maybe even on the weekends. But you never know. Anyway, so the question is, best U.S. Mint program for 2023? And well, obviously, uh, people believe that the Morgan and Peace dollars is the hands down winner. 81%, 4% say the American Women Quarters, 7% say the American Eagle Program. After that, 4% say the American Innovation, and then after that, 4% for the annual sets. So it's no wonder the annual sets are actually declining in numbers, at least mintages, going forward. Because really, people just, well, is that the favorite product? Not so much. And don't forget, we're only 99991000 thousand eight hundred twenty two million subs away from a hundred million so we got this let's do it now this is the cumulative sales figures for the week ending december 17th and i've got here 23x and that will bring up all the morgan and peace dollars for the year of 2023 and i've highlighted some of the more important things here now the ones you see here 330 443 338 and 438 these are the bulk purchases from the dealers right that's hasn't changed in weeks actually so the bulk dealers are not buying this and, and really what's left of the proof dollars um the morgan and peace proof that's the only thing that's available and the bulk dealers aren't just aren't buying them that's it however the onesie twosies are definitely going so check that out now over here to the 2023 morgan and peace silver reverse proof two coin set yeah that's two hundred thousand five hundred and eighty five well, guess what? We have another week of negative weekly sales for the Morgan and Peace Silver Reverse Proof to coin set. Now, I'll show you right here. Remember that number, 200 and then 585. Let's go here to the Mike Unser's article, December 14th. The title of this article from coinnews.net is U.S. Mint Sales, Uncirculated 2023 Mint Set Leads All Products. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're going to keep on keeping on. And, yep, keep on keeping on. And there it is. Look at that. So, We've only had one week of positive sales. Well, maybe the 14,000. Anyway, most of the sales we've seen for the Morgan and Peace reverse proof set, yeah, have been negative. We've only seen one positive out of all the reporting weeks for this particular set, I think after the initial launch. Last week, they lost two, uh, 738. Now, look at this number, 200 and then 691. Well, we're at 200 and 585, so lost 100 and change. But still, that's negative sales. That is incredible, folks. Now, I wanted to say that the uncirculated has stayed the same. However, the, un uh, the uncirculated Morgan has stayed the same. The uncirculated Peace Dollar actually sold a couple because they were at 258, 814. And if we go to 258, 815. So, yeah. They're selling the onesie twosies on that uncirculated piece silver dollar. So I guess at 7.30 in the morning a.m. Eastern time, you might be able to find an uncirculated piece dollar here and there. 
And other than that, really, there's no new tale to tell for the Morgan and Peace dollars, other than people think it's the most popular, or at least the best particular one. And that's of the 414 or 144 people that have actually taken the poll. It could be different, but really, um, look at the numbers. 81% compared to the others, that's just it blowing them out of the water, all right? Um, now, I, like I said, the, the Peace dollar and the Morgan dollar, the proof, they are actually selling nice, actually. I think we had some actual additional sales this last week because this says 302, 642 for that uh, proof piece, 302, 642. Yep. So it's all just under 2,000 there. And let's go to the Morgan proof right there. That's the bulk. And there's the Morgan silver dollar right there. 331 442 so 331 442 yeah we're at 333 415 so definitely the morgan and peace proof are selling but just who's buying them well not the bulk purchase folks not at all now let's keep on keeping on here i've got another story to tell here for you bam that we're at the cumulative sales figures again and this one i've put put here in the search bar now we're this is week ending december 17 2023 i put 23 ara all right that's RC, RG, RH, RJ, and RF. Now, we know that the 2023 proof set is on back order, and those are going to be fulfilled, I believe, January 16, January 15, somewhere around there. Not sure why they were on back order, um, because I mean, why sell them if you don't have them? And what does that mean for the quantity that's going to be available? Let's say those orders are fulfilled for that, uh, those back orders on that proof set. How many more, in addition to the back orders, are actually going to be, uh, is it, you know, you know United States Mint going to be selling, right? I think that's a an important question to ask. And we'll be looking, finally, we'll be looking at those uh, numbers and comparing and contrasting those numbers to other proof sets from the 1950s and 60s. Because really, ultimately, down and to the right are what the annual sets are lately. Now, look at this uncirculated coin set. There's 171 967 sold and that was the week ending december 17th we're at the 20th today so that's three days later yeah and there's a whole mintage of what uh 185,000. and if you do the math 185 minus and i did 172 because we're really just close to, it's like 33 away now look at that 13,000 sets left and really did the united states mint actually strike 185,000 circulated uncirculated coin sets and you know what i i would expect that um we're gonna have way less than 185 maybe even 180 only because all right and if that's the case we're gonna have probably less than eight to nine thousand left only because a lot of people are saying they're absolute garbage now other people are saying they're absolutely fantastic and they love them but there are people that say i will never buy the uncirculated set again just because they don't have that quality that we were expecting and why is that i'm not even sure but there's lots of reasons some people said that there's fingerprints on them some people say there are marks on them some people say that they get better quality coins at the bank in brand new fresh rolls so that's something to consider but really um we know that these are struck on uh well using greater pressure and force uh, than your regular circulation strikes and that's what makes them nicer and that's why i believe that that's where and why registration sets are born all right now let's go to those plus ones today i've yammered way too much now this is about women and this is from midrash genesis i can't even say rabba 17. now it says here after they were divorced the man married a bad woman and she made him bad oh look at that little misspelling there i can't believe that terrible news i'm gonna go battle let me start over that's terrible here we go. See, it's those little things that count, right? Women. After they were divorced, the man married a bad woman, and she made him bad. The woman, let me put the comma there. That's probably why that was supposed to be there. Comma. All right, I'm out of control. The woman married a bad man and made him good. This proves that it depends. I can't even speak here. I'm going to start this over. There we go. See, I knew I could work this out. After they were divorced, the man married a bad woman, and she made him bad. The woman married a bad man and made him good. This proves that all depends upon the woman. Now, women were, were not made from our head so that we may command them, and they weren't made from our feet to enslave them. They came from our ribs so we could be side by side with them. That's right. So that's a beautiful thing. And, you know, it, everything comes from the woman. Let's face it. You know, um, traditionally, okay, this isn't how it is now, I don't think. But traditionally, you know, men, they bring the resources from outside and they bring it into the house and the woman makes something of that. Uh, it's a it's a beautiful thing and it's it's a it's a beautiful relationship and uh, wow right so 
With that said, let's get over here to 99.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. This is Jethro Tull Christmas album, and I hope you like it. And it is all the songs from the uh, from the Christmas album, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully, you like Jethro Tull. If not, maybe it's a chance for you to get familiar with them. Right, right. Now, with that said, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, sub the channel. It's free. And if you are a subscriber, please consider becoming a member. It's a mere $1.99 a month. That's chicken scratch, like zero. I mean, that's like, come on. But it all adds up, right? So it's not much to ask, I don't think. And if if that is too much money um, to ask and it, it'll hurt you, I'm sorry for your situation. Uh, I feel bad, and obviously you don't want to become a member um, if that's too much money. But I do appreciate those of you who have become a member or are considering becoming a, mem a member. Um, it really makes things a lot easier for me to get every single day these videos out to you and make them high quality. Now, with that said, I really appreciate all y'all. Even if you're a member, a subscriber, or what have you, or just bouncing in just for a short time, that's all right. Really appreciate all y'all. Stack her out.